going for um, Colossi, but no, instead he's going to mass up 8 gate here. Here he's going to secure the expansion on the high yield, in his high yield. Banshee going around to make sure that there's no uh, expansions going down. Check here, here, and here, and then I decide, let's go back to the base. So, not really paying attention to it, but then I come in and boom, look at all those stalkers. Am I going to be able to get away? Mm. Oh, it's going to be close. No, the Banshee dies. Poor Banshee. But this third base is up and running for me. Uh, it's not fully saturated yet, uh, so I have still quite... Well, I do have a lead in gas, that's for sure. Uh, but as soon as uh, mules go down, I should be able to take the lead in minerals, but of course they're not out yet. Uh, of course, I have to complain about his energy. Look at mine, 150 each, it looks like. But I still think, yeah, two, 100 there, 100 there. He just hasn't been using it at all. I have at least been using it. See, there we go. Mules are out somewhere. There's a couple. So I take a look at that. Always use mules. Look at that. It went up from about 750 to 1600 thanks to five mules. Oh, look, it's almost up to 2000 now. And here he is going for his fourth or fourth base here because he is fully mined out of his main. Probe's just hanging out though. Uh, so even though he's uh, he's got, oh, wow, I've got a seven harvester lead in, um, now eight, but on top of that, he's got these 13 probes just hanging out. Look at all those stalkers. How many is that on the field? He's got 23 of them, all of them going to my base. He's got nothing left to defend his base. Is he going to be going for my main or my expansion? He's going to be going for where he thinks my expansion is. Of course, I did not take the high yield. I went for one of the other starting places because I always assume people are going to be going for the other, for the high, they're always going to think that I'm going for the high yield. So I go for one of the other main bases, which people don't usually check. So I figure this one's a lot safer. I'm starting to get missile turrets up and mules are starting to die. And in come the stalkers. Looking at units lost, 57, and here we should start seeing a lot more. All 23 stalkers standing in my supply line, easily taking out everything in sight. He went for the command for the orbital command first. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, because of that, all these. SCVs were able to escape and here since um, I still have an operational base I'm actually going to be going for an attack here. I'm going to trade him a base for a base Seeing what I did just get weapons upgrade number two uh, So now these uh, marauders are getting 22 damage on armored and the Marines are getting eight damage overall and here because I'm stupid the SCVs are going back to where 23 stalkers are. I wonder how this will end. Well, <laughs> that was unexpected. And down go the mis down goes the photon cannons. Uh, thanks to the sight from these Vikings, Banshees, and Medivacs. And here we go into his main base. He doesn't have that many stalkers left because 23 of them are out making sure that I don't have my third base. So those go down. Five stalkers up. And here I can see a pylon, so I know he has the expansion there. But I want to take out this expansion because I want to go into his main base. Because that's where I assume all his tech is. And finally the stalkers catch up. They're able to take out all my siege tanks. Because they do so much damage to armored 15. I'm, 5 tanks is not able to take out thir 23 stalkers. Uh, just FYI. 
Vikings going on the ground. There's really nothing for them to attack in the air. Plus, that Banshee is still around. So, Vikings should not be coming out anymore. I am getting a Raven to make sure that there's no observers following me like that one right there. Plus, in case Dark Templars start coming out, it's always a good idea to put them in your main army. Another observer hanging out over here. Uh, he wants to make sure that he can see his own base. Not exactly sure what's going on. So, and I go to his main ar main base. He's still got um, two base. Uh, he could be using this one, but he is not. Um, he's too busy warping in zealots. I'm not sure why he went for zealots. Um, did he have... I mean, it could be because he was low on gas, I guess. Um, but zealots aren't going to be able to do much. So down they go. He should have gone for stalkers. They would have been more cost effective, I think. What do we got here? Zealot warping in. How much damage do they do? They do do 9 damage. <laughs> I said doo-doo. Uh, 9 damage. Uh, that is a flat damage. No bonuses. Uh, but it's going to be something that is going to be too little too late. So here I'm going, okay, I have this thing one. You know, he should be GGing at any minute. I'm taking out his all his tech. I mean, he's he's only got two warp gates operational now. Um, robotics facility is down. I see a forge. You know, I don't see anything over here. But I'm pretty safe in assuming that there's not going to be anything there. And here comes the rest of my army. I even have a Thor for good measure, just in case he decided at any point to change tech to air. Raven's out, so that observer does go down. I'm moving my orbital command over. It does have full energy um, because it's I'm fully out here, but I have such a huge lead that I'm not really too concerned about it. Just kind of moving it over there for posterity's sake, just in case he does have some surprise base that he wants me to attack, and it does look like he does. He wants me to take out this, that, I mean, but he's not even producing an army, he's just producing bases. So, I, I don't know, He's I, I, he must be assuming that I'm not going to be attacking anything, and I'm just going to go, hey, I won, and then leave? I, I don't know what the point of this is. But once I've destroyed your main base, leave. Once you know I'm going to destroy your main base, leave. You have nothing. You don't even have a gateway. You've got Nexus, two Nexus, Nexi, I'm not even sure what the plural of Nexus is, with full energy. All you've got are 26 probes and an observer. And last I checked, the observer can't drop nukes or anything. Give up. I've been in charge of this game for quite some time, but he still refuses to leave, and I'm still getting an army, don't get me wrong. I'm still I'm still getting marines and marauders, and here I go for the high yield, because I knew he had it because he put the pylon there. And here I go, oh crap, he's got another base, those probes are going, but he does leave, thank you. He still didn't even have a he, he finally got pylons up, but it's no gateways, no warp gates, no robotics facilities. He had nothing left, but he still wanted me to attack. It's just so annoying, uh, but it's something that uh, need that still goes on in the game. And it's something that will probably continue to go on in the game for quite some time. But uh, manners, everybody's manners. Uh, once you know that the game is over, leave. Don't. Don't, don't make me take out every building. It's just annoying. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope you left. Hope to see you next time. Bye.